Hi guys, uh, we're going to look at fretboard cleaning and fret polishing on a maple boarded guitar this time. So for you guys that didn't fully get it the first time, it might be good to watch this as well. We're going to discuss the differences, the differences in approach. Um, so let's get straight down to it. So first thing first, strings off. Yep, strings off again. Perfect. Um, these are slightly different tuners than the last guitar that we used. These are vintage style tuners. Vintage style tuners, Which, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit quicker and easier to uh, remove the strings. Okay. okay, so it just comes out, you can sort of see there that the string goes down inside the tuner. That's right. And it means they just sort of pop off when you're, when you're loosening them with your lovely like that. string winder. Look at that. Plus they're very, very pretty. Absolutely, and they work very, very well too, but, but we'll go into that in more detail. Nice little teaser there, so that'll be in the tuning, in the tuning and sort of restringing sections. Okay, I'm just going to nip the uh, the ends off because they won't go through the uh, bridge. So no, okay, so let me just get a nice Ooh. shot of you doing that. There we go, clean as a whistle. Now, okay, so let's have a look how you're getting those strings out on the back there. So you just thread them through and they come out of the block underneath there like that. And because you've, sn because you've snipped them off, they come out nice and easy and you don't need to sort of that's right. Rip them through and your saddles are almost all, almost perfectly in position. Yes. There we go. And if you notice on the back there, I didn't have a back plate. Absolutely. <laughs> Ease of access. Is there any, any yeah. reason for that other than uh, just convenience or? I think they sound better. Okay. Because you get to hear that natural reverberation. That's interesting. Back. That's interesting. So, so if you just pop it in. It's the same as Eric Johnson's. Very nice. Guitar, but... Very nice. So you're just letting those strings kind of, uh, the springs on the back row, the sort of breathe and, and kind of That's resonate, right. yeah. Now this is a gloss maple board. Yeah, okay. you can see on there, it's very, very shiny. Um, now we don't use the wire wool on this type of fretboard. Okay. okay. We're gonna use just a pump polish. Pump now, polish. So I've got a Gibson pump yep. polish here. Other brands are available. Indeed. But um, Dunlop 65 is very good. Okay. Pump polish is, uh, Gibson pump polish is very good. Okay. What you're after is something that's not harmful to the finish. Okay. Sure. Now that would be something which has um, silicon in it. So okay, like household enough. cleaners, okay, yeah. aren't, aren't best or should, aren't really advisable for, okay. for guitars. So you want a kind of delicate sort of yeah. specific guitar polish if you can. If you can, okay. definitely. Yeah. Right. They're, they're out there in abundance, and, sure. and it's what should be used. So okay. if you've got a guitar that's that's cost you a thousand thousand pounds or a thousand dollars or whatever, spend a little bit more, get the right polish, and don't ruin the finish. Absolutely. Okay. So a couple of things to mention specifically about the maple boards. Yep. Okay. So this being finished, this is relatively new. This is probably only about a year old, and okay. this is one of our demo guitars, so it's rarely played. Okay. The finish on the fretboard isn't worn. Sure, okay. yeah. It does look pretty pristine. With so. guitars that are older and are worn, maple boards, yep. you've got to be careful how much polish you use or even make a judgment call whether you should use any. Okay. Because if the maple board, the finish, has, has cracked at all, okay, yep. um, the, what polish you use will go underneath and can stain the wood. Okay. If, so eyeball it. Check it. Make sure it's uh, you know it hasn't cracked in any places. Okay. Okay. And a crack will be will be pretty obvious to the naked eye. Yeah, it will be a hairline uh, crack, and you'll you'll see it. It's what's called checking. Okay. Okay. Where the finish checks. Fair enough. Okay. Um, that's just one thing to be just cautious about. If you've got a vintage instrument, you should definitely check that. Okay. okay? You should. If okay. if that's the case and you're concerned, then just some towel or a polished paper. Yeah. Okay. And just clean it like that. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. But this is perfectly fine to use some kind of uh, yep. guitar cleaner. Okay? Sure. Okay. Fair enough. So this one, this one's, I mean, already looking pretty clean. I have to say. I'll, yeah. I'll and, some... and the frets on this, when we come to polishing them, yep. they look pretty clean already. But we'll see what they come up like after. Yeah. See what we can board. do. Absolutely. Okay. okay. So just a couple of sprays on the towel. Yeah. Okay. Sure. This towel, by the way, is it's it's called um, Scott's Shop Towel. Okay. Um, and it's, it's, I found it to be the best thing to use. It okay. doesn't tear, right? And it's, sure. it's good when it's wet. Okay. The other important point, and probably the most important for us, you know, in the repair shop, yep. is that once that's been used, I just throw it away. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. So there isn't a build up of different polishes. Okay, yeah, of course. Being used on m multiples of guitars. Right? Sure, absolutely. Because if this has got pump polish on it and then I start using the same cloth on it, 
on a vintage instrument with different finishes sure. or things like that. You have to be cautious about that. Okay, fair enough. And okay. I guess there's also the possibility of maybe picking up some kind of possibly the wire wool dust. Sure, and, absolutely. Yeah. Um, if you can, if you can have have some blue towel and then you can throw it away. Sure, it's just okay, a good enough. it's a good habit good to get into. Okay, okay, cool. So, although this board wasn't exactly dirty, but you can see that in the light, the whole thing looks really nice. Yeah, okay. it's come up really, really nicely. If you had a maple board which looked similar to Dan's rosewood board, yep. with lots of dirt and grime all over it, yeah, um, this pump polish would slowly lift that. Okay, okay? you might just have to turn the cloth over. A couple more times sure. spray it if it's really filthy and um you know you're certain that there's no checking on that finish yeah but possibly spray some on the board and really give Fair it a good enough. old clean okay this cloth um will polish these frets up just slightly you know okay it will sure. shine start, them so start on the road to if you're fret happiness yeah so if you're mm -hmm. regularly maintaining your maple board okay um this this may shine them up Suitably. Sure, and and okay. obviously this is something that you can do whether the strings are off or not, but would you ever bother cleaning the back of the of the neck at uh, all whilst you're doing it? Absolutely, it's something you can certainly do. And um, obviously the back is also finished with, with, yes. with this particular... Um, something to maybe note, where guitars have a satin finish, okay, okay so a maple fretboard with a satin finish, yeah. um, that, that can clean up in exactly the same way, okay. but if you continually polish it, yeah. You end up buffing it. Right. Okay. And that will slowly start looking like gloss. Right. I see. Okay. I see. Over time, through play, you'll, you'll make it uh, shinier anyway. Okay? I see. But it's worth bearing that in mind. Yeah. Because you're sort of, you know, you're polishing it gradually over, exactly. over sort of exactly. sort of decades of use. But it's perfectly safe to use something like that on, on the Saturn sure. board too. Sure. Okay. Um, I think we're ready to fret polish. Okay, cool. So next time we'll have a look at actually polishing the frets. Mm -hmm.